Hey guys, how's it going? Welcome in. My name's Shannon. We're here today with a timeless Aquarius reading. All right, Aquarius. Wow, starting out with the chariot. Looks like we're making some moves. Where are we heading? Oh, there's that Five of Cups coming out again. This Five of Cups continually comes up this week. So maybe with the chariot, I shouldn't say maybe. I know people get ticked off when I say maybe. <laughs> with the chariot and the Five of Cups coming out right next to each other, what this could indicate is that we're, we're steering away from this feeling of being kind of focused on what has happened and we're now yeah we have the world on the bottom of the deck here we're now moving on we're moving away we're finally beginning to remember we still have these two cups standing here instead of keeping our focus on these three spilled cups so we're moving out of this feeling of I'm hearing desperation but this feeling of like, oh, what if I should have, could have, would have. We're moving away from that and we're moving towards a completion of some type, which will bring with it a new beginning. Let me just get one, please. Thank you. Yeah, we have the King of Pentacles coming out. So we're making more grounded decisions now. We're, we're moving away from leading with our emotions and we're beginning to lead with a clear mind, a clear thought process on how we can utilize this pain, this hurt, these quote unquote negative things that have occurred to us. We're realizing how we can use them to our own benefit, how we can put this into action, how we can begin moving forward. we have the page of cups coming out knight of coins page of cups for some of you you could have somebody coming to make an offer to you for others of you this is with the king of pentacles and the page of cups here this is like you finding your grounding but finding you're finding the way out of this feeling down in the dumps let's just put it that way you're finding the way out of that through re revisiting things that would make you feel good and childlike so maybe something you've enjoyed in the past for others of you this could be about you and your children regardless of what the nature of this is Aquarius basically we're grounding ourselves and we're finding that that inner peace, that inner happiness, that inner joy that has been kind of unable, like it's not been around for us lately, right? We've had this five of cups coming out for, I feel, multiple readings now. And now we're, we're finally, in a big way, stepping out of that energy and stepping into an energy of, I've got this. I'm going to follow what my heart is telling me. I'm going to follow my heart with logic though. We're not just rushing into something willy nilly. <laughs> We're actually thinking this through. The high priestess, the three of cups, you guys aren't doing this alone. This is something that you are really sitting with, with your guides, whether you know you're doing it or not. Also with the high priestess coming out, this could be, again, this has been a repeating pattern. This could still be a piece of something that you don't have the answer to. But with the Three of Cups on the bottom of the deck, this to me is kind of like celebration. I feel like this is you guys moving past anything that's been keeping you reluctant to move forward. So we're getting to a place where we're feeling comfortable. We're feeling safe is the word I want to use. In, in taking this next step because with the chariot this is a major next step okay we've got the five of swords and the lovers on the bottom of the deck now the five of swords this is about you know not winning at all costs it being an empty a hollow victory right 
With the lovers, this is a major choice that's going to come into play. So I feel like you're going to get to a place with this, and maybe this is the piece that's currently unseen. There's going to come a point in this journey of yours where you're going to have to make a decision about whether or not you want to follow through with something. And you, this decision is basically going to be, is it worth it for me? to fight for this? Is it worth it for me to continue whatever this is representing? Okay. Um, you know, is it worth it for me to continue at this job? Is it worth it for me to fight for this job? Is it worth it for me to fight for this partner? Because sometimes, you know, we can, what is it? Win the battle, but lose the war or vice versa. <laughs> there is some type of a saying like that. And that's kind of what this feels like. Um, especially with the lovers, this is a major choice. The lovers, the chariot, the high priestess, these are all the major arcana we have out currently. So there is major, I don't want to say upheaval, but there's major changes coming. And there's a lot of really important decisions that are going to have to be made. And this is one of them, whether or not something is worth it for you to continue with. Do I want to fight for this? Or will I just still feel empty inside, even if I win? It's kind of like putting on airs. Is it worth it? Who is it impressing? Who is it for? Is it for you? Or is it for someone else? The two of coins. Finding balance with something here. What do we need to know about this two of coins? Okay. It's just reinforcing the fact that this decision is going to need to be made. So you guys are going to have to weigh something here. You guys are really going to have to weigh your options in regard to whatever this is. And then we have the Six of Pentacles and the Ten of Pentacles coming out. So for a lot of you, this is concerning money with the King of Pentacles coming out. <sighs> You're moving through this period of trying to find yourself out of this Five of Cups energy. And for a lot of you, this may be involving another person and your finances. And what Spirit's recommending here is if you're fighting for something right now, it's best to err on the side of being generous, of giving of yourself what can you give of yourself because it's going to work out for you in the end but again this is something that you're going to have to kind of weigh and say you know is it worth it maybe let's do a for instance um for instance you're going to court you're you're getting a divorce you're going to court and you know you guys are at the stage of the divorce where you're discussing alimony or something like this and there's this major fight over it um spirits kind of saying you know is it worth it for us to continue to sit here and fight and it feels to me like you're going to have that major decision to make whether to continue with this or not not necessarily this, it could be different for you. I'm just giving an example. But with the six of coins coming out and then that leading to the 10 of coins, it's kind of saying, you know, make a rational decision. Don't just be out to maybe get somebody back or to, you know, get your bag. Be generous, give of yourself what you can, and it's going to lead to you having a better outcome in the end. Yeah, we have the Knight of, wow, the Knight of Coins, Page of Coins, Two of Cups on the bottom of the deck. For some of you, this definitely does have to do with a relationship with another person. You guys are definitely moving on though. There's just, it feels like there's a lot of obstacles here. But with the King of Pentacles and the Page of Cups, I feel like you're now beginning to, to understand how to best move through this. It's like you finally feel like 
yeah, I got this. I know which way I want to go. I know what direction I want to head in. I know, you know, how I want to handle this. And then spirit throws another, you know, curveball at you. But then we have the Ace of Swords coming out. So you guys are gaining clarity throughout this, whatever this process is for you. If you're able to find that generosity in your heart, if you're able to come from a place of not what's just best for me or not just what's best for them, what is best for everyone? If we're able to lead with those types of thoughts and feelings and actions, you're going to be gaining a major opportunity at the end of this. We have the Ten of Coins and the Ace of Swords here. Something is becoming very clear and maybe it's, you know, how to actually get to this Ten of Pentacles. Maybe you have to go about this in a different way. Yeah, we have the Ace of Cups here on the bottom of the deck as well. This is definitely a major new beginning for you guys. And it looks like with the Five of Swords, the Two of Pentacles, the Ten of Pentacles, it's kind of like it's up to you. Do you want to keep fighting this battle or do you want to end this? Maybe take a small loss, but end this and then move forward because there is a new cycle that's ready to happen. I feel like it's just waiting on you to make some type of a decision here. Let's pull one more tarot card here, guys, and then I will let you guys go because I feel like we've gotten the message out here. What else do you want to say, Spirit? Yeah, the Nine of Coins, completion. We're getting to a place of completion. We're not quite there yet, but we're getting there. And again, like I said, this is all coming to a head at this point. And it's going to come down to you having to weigh your options and make a really important decision for yourself. And don't let that scare you. Because it looks like you guys are coming out of this emotional upheaval that you've been in. And you're starting to see things clearly. You know, you're you're coming out here as the high priestess. You're, you're understanding that which is hidden now. And I think that's going to help you along in making this decision. But you guys are nearing the end of this cycle. And new things are beginning to pop up. So keep your eyes open, keep your ears open, and make sure, again, that you're doing what is right for the good of everyone, not just get for the good of ourselves, not just for the good of somebody else, but for the good of all. And everything here is going to be turning out just fine. And then we get to start a new cycle again. All right, my friends, that's where we're going to leave it at. Thank you so much for stopping by and hanging out with me. I love you guys so much. I hope you're all having a beautiful day and I will talk to you again soon.